in some ways the information, although it's interesting if say that was the ultimate nature of reality, it's really how it's composed and structured and organized that's really interesting. And that's where you get the kind of dynamicism or the kind of differentiation that we not only get an experience, but that we see in reality all yeah. around us. Yeah. yeah. Wow, man, this is fan this is fantastic. So um okay, let me jump on that. So if we if we get um okay, wait, maybe is um we're talking about like undifferentiated information at maybe mm -hmm. the ground level. Um if you so because you know information is is fundamental so if we do like uh an uh, ant-man uh experiment where we get you know ant-man suits and we start shrinking all the way down to the quantum level mm -hmm. eventually like would would we get down to like the information level would you say or yeah. is it not is it not working like that it's a good question uh i'd be lying if i had if i said i knew the answer to that question <laughs> right like thinking um in some sense, I think the project is still at the like, well, you know, a bit like how maybe Philip Goff argues for panpsychism or cosmopsychism, right? Yeah. Like assume this about the fundamental nature of reality. Yeah. Look at the work it does. If that's the work it does, we should accept the view based on that. Right. right? Even that with is, a crazy uh, stare. Yeah. Incredulous stares, you know, be damned. Like, that, yeah. 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 I really, I, I really respect uh, Philip on this, right? Because He's like a dog of a bone, right? No, no matter how wild it seems, yeah. he's like the look, the work it does, right? And you know, if I'm stuck between that or accepting, you know, something like Hempel's dilemma for physicalism, right? I'm take so like, yeah, right? I'm with you. I'd rather rather not be vacuously true or just patently false from the outgo. I'd rather take this kind of view that seems a little kind of wild on the outset, but does all this work, right? Yeah, I took a similar approach. That's not to say that I don't think there should be an answer to that question, right? I think the answer to that question actually comes with, in some ways, perhaps the fundamental level is the least interesting place that we can possibly look, right? Right. It kind of picture about the world, right? Yeah. In some ways, what it means for, and it, and it could be that this idea of a fundamental level couldn't possibly exist in this type of a world, right? Or reality, because ultimately it's about how it's structured and how it's organized. And right. In some ways, again, that's another like lesson that I want to give credit to IT for, right? Is you know, in IT, you have this idea that it's integrated information that exists. Isn't integrated in information, right? But it has the right kind of integration and differentiation. It doesn't exist. And it's, it's a kind of strong claim, right? Because then it's like the only things that exist then are conscious entities. Uh, and to some extent, it's not so dissimilar to that kind of Cartesian insight, right? That's why IT talks about the Cartesian insight, right? Yeah. Kajit Square goes to, you know, we all love that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just like today in the intro class. Um, but it is kind of this insight and it, and it makes you think like, well, if it doesn't experience or it doesn't enter into consciousness, in some sense, it doesn't matter, right? And mm -hmm. for all intents and purposes, maybe it doesn't exist. And so I tend to think that, you know, IT has something to say there. I think this kind of metaphysics or ontology about information also has something to say there in terms of like, well, if it's really like structure that we're trying to pick out with our scientific or natural investigation of the world, these real patterns, then in some ways it's structural all the way down, right? And that's why in, in, a, in a way it's a form of, it's a combination of information theoretic neutral modism and um, ontic structural realism from someone like oh. Leidemann and Ross's work, right? Yeah. Where I'm just, I'm accepting that what really exists is reality, right? It's structure. It's not just the nature of our explanations of the world. It quite literally is uh, how the world is in and of itself. And yeah. so ultimately those information structures uh, are, you know, kind of, you might think of, points of kind of lack of uniformity in this otherwise indifferentiated space of fundamental information, whatever that yeah. means. Yeah. Yeah. And a while, I don't think it's too dissimilar to how weird it is to think of undifferentiated matter at the fundamental level, I know, right? right. Whatever is at the fundamental is nuts. No. Yeah. yeah and I think, or, I think or boring. Idea, yeah, like you said, yeah. that? or, or it could be boring. Like you were saying, like it might just be it, like, what would it mean to look at undifferentiated anything? matter a or, soup, info, like a or... Soup of works at the, yeah right what like, is that right interesting is that i yeah. don't i you know what i mean like it's a really good point and i think even just the attempt to conceptualize it, like, well, how would i i'm going to take a bit of like a you know human humility point on this right we occupy yeah. a limited perspective on reality you could speculate about it but i, sure. I don't want to ever claim to know right yeah. i get that sense of like this is what it is like yeah um, and so you know the fundamental freaks me out but i think it's always freaked out anybody that like does metaphysics of mind or consciousness, particularly this kind of question, right? It's yeah. always that question. Like, yeah. What's at the fundamental level? Um, 
you know, Russell was just like, I don't know, quiddities. <laughs> what, you know? Yeah, I can. You know that. what I mean? Yeah. I, don't know. I, like, I don't know. I like some quiddities in my life. I like that for sure. Hey guys, thanks for watching that clip from the Parker's Pensies podcast. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like and drop a thinking emoji in the comments or let me know what you thought. If you did enjoy it, if you learned something, you're going to love the full conversation over on my main channel, Parker's Pensies.